Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to some baldy gameplay. So, gonna be trying him on a demonic beast. I'm not doing him on all because I don't think he will shine on most of them. Where I think he shine most is deer. So, that's where I'm actually gonna use him. As for bird and stuff, like, it can work, but it's like, it's not really gonna do much if you use him on bird or dog. Even Nid. The teams for there are already very, very well set. So... I don't really think he has much of a place for those beasts. I think he'll just shine way, way more using him in this fight. Unknown is already like one of the best teams for farming here. And him just having a counter that just hits for like a crazy amount. He just suits this fight perfectly. Using Thor in his team because as a blue unit, she's just amazing for this fight. Her extra damage and... Once she like pops or even before she pops sometimes her damage is more than likely always going to be maxed and more so it's a really good like placement for her the counter just like complements it more so for a certain phase we don't get a hit the counter is going to clear that up like in one hit or two for her because he's like a booster and Jormungandr because she just does her stuff and I do go for some unusual countering plays because I just want to see him pop, especially in like the ending phases. I want to see him like actually counter for the clap for that last hit. So yeah. And you got to remember too, counters go past damage caps. So any place that literally has a damage cap and you want to like go past it, if you have extra counters in hand, you can. It's just going to be an extra free damage. It's more likely it's going to definitely kill and go way past the damage cap. And the thing is, right, even with this team, it's a full unknown team. So you can use the 15% attack card set, which is very nice. So you get a bit of extra damage for the other units. So that's already pretty good. Phase 2 for Flurry 2 is where he like shines. So like he can just do this. Pretty good. One tap immediately. Alberto can pretty much do similar things. But it's a collab unit so more people might not have her. Because yes, there are some unlucky people who might not have Alberto for that fast team. So this is a very good replacement if you don't have her. Yeah, and even his card, his normal card does hit for like a decent amount. So it's not like the second card is a dead card. And it removes all gauge as well. So it's pretty good. And as always, I am going to end this on my counter. one point four bro that's amazing it's a big hit counter that's what i'm saying i'm using it just for using its sake i just love to see the counter pop it's so good also for floor three sometimes like your team might not be able to kill through all the damage caps you might be falling a little behind for some people he has his counter up turn one you don't even need to pop it so even if you don't get it there, he's going to finish it off for you. So it helps in that aspect, which I think it's a little bit better than Albedo. So yeah, if you can't actually kill it, he will finish it off for you, which is pretty good. Bro, he does put in some decent damage with that card. 
I think that card is on par with Albedo's as well because she has a card that can do similar damage, but I think it's less than his. It might be slightly less. Another reason I love Thor, that extra damage comes in super clutch. That's another thing. Like this team, I feel like it's just really fast clearing. Really easy farming, especially for a deer. All in all, I really love this team. Really, really cool. As always, I save my counter for phase four. You know it's like gonna be an easy time once that counter hits. Normally, like when I'm playing with Albedo, I would try to rush either Albedo's ult or Yerming Ender, so I have like that extra bit of damage from the buffs I have. But unfortunately, we cleared through so fast. I really didn't think about it because I've not really been playing there all too much. So not a one tap, but a two tap. All in all, pretty good. Bro is like cooking, so yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.